Okay, so the Serbia Open is on next week. Novak Djokovic will be back in action. He can play in that event. Uh, it's kind of his little baby event anyway. Uh, but some big names are pulled out. Here are the withdrawal lists. We've got Bonzi. He's pulled out. Choric has also pulled out. Gaston, he's gone. Molkan and Monfils have all pulled out of this one. Eight seeds in this one. Top four seeds get a buy in the first round. Number one seed, Novak Djokovic. He is the defending semi-finalist from last year. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either the wild card Medadovic or Jera in the second round. So an all-Serbian second round coming up there for Nole. Then we've got Dominic Team. He's back, unseeded, playing John Milman. The winner of that match will play either Gasquet or the seventh seed, Kecmanovic, who's been the best Serbian player of the year. I mean, we all know what he's been up to over this season. Dominic Team, Novak Djokovic, Kecmanovic, they're the three big names. Uh, obviously, Dominic Team is probably the, out of all those guys is the least in form, but man, I mean, it's going to be a crazy part of the draw. Then you've got the number three seed, Hashinov. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Ema or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier versus Souza. Winner of that match takes on either Goffan or the number eight seed, Krajanovic. So all the Serbians are up the top of the draw and all the dangerous players. You know, Hashinov, the number three seed. Goffan, he's been in good form the last few weeks. Kranovic at home, that could be a big problem. So very interesting to see how it got, plays out because that top half of the draw for Djokovic, it's not as easy as you would, you would expect. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got Fanini. The number six seed taking on Cecchinato. So an all-Italian battle. Winner of that match takes on either Kukushkin or Bedene in the second round. Uh, then we've got Tabillo versus Ott. Winner of that match takes on the number four seed, Karatsev who actually got to the final here last year, beating Djokovic along the way. So we'll keep an eye on him this week. Uh, then you got the number five seed, Garen, taking on Rune. Winner of that match takes on either Lajevic or, the, or a qualifier in the second round. Then we got Laxanen taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Andre Rublev. So compared to the top half of the draw, bottom half of the draw, you know, Karatsev, Rublev. Uh, Garen hasn't been in great form, but he's a good clay quarter. Uh, you, you know, bottom half of the draw might be where the winner comes from because the top half is pretty stacked. And even though Djokovic is up the top and maybe he's the favorite to win and maybe he, sh he will win, it's going to be tricky for him to get through his draw. But man, it's a it's a pretty stacked event for an ATP 250. And uh, with Nole back, of course, we're going to have to watch it. But let me know down in the comments below. Let me know in the chat. Who do you think is winning this event? I mean, I think Djokovic at home. I, I, I mean, it's hard to go past Djokovic at home. I think Nole at home... Uh, Kecmanovic is in good form, but I don't think he beats Djokovic. Team's not good enough right now. Uh, Rublev, maybe Rublev, but then again, Rublev beating Djokovic in Serbia. Is that going to happen? Karatsev, I don't think is in good form, so I don't know if I can back him. I, I think it's going to be Nole. I mean, Nole at home. I mean, Djokovic in Serbia, it's got to be him winning, right?